our first Hall of Famer tonight, which will be the, what, we had 10 go in? This will be the 11th Hall of Famer, is Mr. Dan Owen. Accepting the honor on behalf of Dan Owen is his son, Shannon Owen. A graduate of Burke Burnett High School in 1950, Dan Owen was an outstanding multi-sport athlete. He attended Howard Payne University, playing basketball and running track. Dan's senior year in 1954, he led the conference in scoring, earning MVP honors while leading the Yellow Jackets to the Texas Conference Basketball Championship. That same year, he ran on school record-breaking distance relay teams and was the fastest runner in the conference in the 880-yard dash. Owen was also quite the ball player, ultimately turning down a professional baseball contract with the Boston Red Sox to remain at school and pursue a coaching career. He was a coach on the 1962 Jacksboro Tigers state champion football team that went undefeated, a perfect 15-0, and led the boys' basketball team to state that same season. In 1971, he transitioned to administration at Holiday, starting as the elementary principal and climbing the ranks to superintendent before retiring in 1993. Dan also had an incredible streak of attending the UIL state basketball tournament every year. Starting in 1949, he went every year for the rest of his life, except one in 2002 when his wife was sick and they couldn't go. Dan Owen is already in the Howard Payne University Hall of Fame, and today he becomes a member of the Next Star Sports Hall of Fame. Shannon, the podium is yours. Hope I don't break that. <laughs> I, I told Tobin up here they pretty well have already given my speech, but uh, I also feel kind of like the lonesome man up here. <laughs> Um, on behalf of my sister Cindy and my brother Shane, uh, we'd like to thank Nexstar and all the sponsors and the committee for this Hall of Fame induction. Um, I know this, some of this was covered. I may have to repeat it or I'll sound like an idiot up here but, uh, by going off my script. But uh, this is actually his, my dad's third Hall of Fame induction. Um, it talked about the one at Howard Payne. He's also in the Sports Hall of Fame for Burke Burnett High School and now this one. And we really appreciate the honor. Um, I have a, there's a, a quote from a former coach at, at Burke Burnett. He said, Dan Owen was one of the best all-around athletes to come out of this area. And interesting enough, the coach that made that quote is Joe Bob Tyler, who coached at Burke Burnett back during that time. Um, after he left Burke Burnett, he went to Howard Payne College in Brownwood. Um, just like the video said, he uh, was a four-year letterman on the basketball team, the Texas, Col uh, Texas Conference Most Valuable Player. He was the leading scorer and leader, leading rebounder uh, when he won the MVP. Um, he was also a phenomenal track athlete. Um, two-time conference champion on the 880-yard dash and also ran a leg on their two-mile relay, which set the national record at that time. And uh, Howard Payne Track back at the time, that was, uh, they had a big-time program. They went to all of the big meets across the country, and they won the Drake Relays, they won the Kansas Relays, and they won the Texas Relays. So that's pretty good for a little small private school in Brownwood, Texas. Um, following, uh, also, uh, he continued to play basketball after college and played in, uh, several semi-pro leagues and, uh, uh, at one time received a call from a man named Abe Sapperstein, or Sapperstein, if you're not familiar with that name, well, he owned the Harlem Globetrotters. Well, he offered my dad a contract not to play for the Globetrotters, but to play for a team called the Boston Whirlwinds. Um, that was one of the traveling teams that competed against the Globetrotters. Um, so anyway, he, he actually didn't do that because uh, 
He didn't want to travel all over the country. But uh, he went into coaching uh, at Jacksboro and Holiday is where he coached. And back in the 60s, uh, Jacksboro became a powerhouse in the 60s. Uh, they won the state championship. Uh, also, they were voted the team of the decade in the 60s for Class 2A. He became the head football coach at Jacksboro. Uh, and in seven years, his record was 65 and 12. Uh, they went to three regional finals and were a state semifinalist. And uh, Mr. Wilcox, uh, just a little trivia, you probably know this, but that last football game ever played on the campus of Midwestern State University was Jacksboro and Iowa Park. Um, that, that was actually my dad's last football game, and Iowa Park actually went on to win the state championship that year. Um, he was also a phenomenal basketball coach. He uh, was a basketball coach for 11 seasons. Um, his overall record in basketball was 232 wins and 52 losses. Uh, they won eight district championships, went to three regional tournaments, and were also a state finalist in basketball, which just so happened to be the same year that they won state in football. After uh, uh, his coaching career, he went into administration. Uh, when he retired, he was superintendent at Holiday. Um, in 1991, he was a finalist for the National Superintendent of the Year Award. Uh, also, he received recognition from the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches for promoting basketball throughout the state of Texas. And perhaps, probably the, his favorite part of being the superintendent was he served 10 years on the UIL Legislative Council. And to uh, close this up, I'm going to read a quote from Dr. Charles Brightup, who is the executive director of the University Interscholastic League. From, the, from his time as an outstanding high school and college athlete through his time as a great coach and school administrator, Dan has been a most humble and gracious man. As a school superintendent, Dan Owen made a tremendous impact on the state of Texas while serving as a member of the University Interscholastic League Legislative Council. Along with his colleagues, the council helps to develop the best high school academic, music, and athletic competition in the country. The legacy of Dan Owen lives on through his children and grandchildren and through the thousands of students he influenced. His name still resonates across the state. I knew him as a servant leader and loved him as a friend. He was and is a Texas treasure. Once again, thank you, Tobin, and I appreciate this award, as does my family. Thank you.